close to it, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. close enough. Yeah, I mean, y'all talking about 25 below tonight, that's like when you eat fucking ice cream and get a brain freeze kind of weather, but you don't get the fucking ice cream to go with it. <laughs> that's fucking cold, man. I don't even think the polar bear is fucking that kind of weather, you know? It's like, oh, fuck you, bitch. I'll see you in the spring. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. That's just cold for no fucking reason. You know what I mean? And it, it don't even make sense to me. And then this guy, this Mexican over here bragging about being up here. That motherfucker is not from Mexico, y'all. He was born in the Twin Cities. He's lying. Mind. I don't know a motherfucking Mexican that would leave Texas or wait a minute, Texas is fucking Mexico. They just fucked that shit up down here, didn't they? I'm not stupid. I know that used to be fucking Mexico till the Alamino or some shit happened. How uh, they get the name to Americans fucked them up too, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying. You know? Yeah, my brother. Hold on, baby. You know when I when I wrote these jokes, your part was quiet and shit, man. I don't need you. I don't need a I don't need a joke assistant or a joke coach, you know. Get you a drink and shit. Shut that shit up a little bit, man. Don't think that I ain't been to another white town before, you know. I got some experience at this shit. I might look like I'm from the city, but I'm not fucking stupid. I know where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> I love white people, especially right now. <laughs> I'm not fucking stupid, baby, but I do need you to save your mouth when you get home for some special guy. I'm just playing. Every man in here want three things for a woman. Let me tell you three things, with ladies. This is just a little something, something. I don't mean to be mean. It's all about love. What I'm talking about is love. Every man wants three things from a woman. This is a formula for successful relationships. The first thing a man want is a good meal. Am I right, fellas? Am I right, fellas? The next thing a man want is some special treatment. I don't want to say it, but... And the last thing a man wants is a shot of ass. <laughs> now, if you can do those three things and not talk after those three things, you are potentially a great ass mate for a man. Because that's all he wants. <laughs> Good food, some head, and a shot of ass. In that order. <laughs> No, hey, hey, you know, I love being here. You know, I love it. You know, I, I wouldn't want to be in Africa right now. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying, I've been to Africa, and they tried to kill me when I got there. <laughs> no, they took me on some shit called a, a, a safari adventurous walk, and I didn't know what a canopy was. It's like, yeah, KJ, we're going to hike up to a canopy, and it's just like about a thousand feet up through the mountain and you see snakes and all hear all kind of weird noise. And you from the city, you ain't used to no shit like that, you know. I'm like, damn, couldn't y'all just show a video back at the hotel and shit, you know? You gonna bring me up here and tell me, okay, now we want you to walk on a canopy that's about 10,000 feet above the rainforest. This is called a walk of faith. I'm like, well, this shit look like a walk of death to me. I don't feel like... I'm <laughs> so it's like, well, you gotta be strong for the kids. I'm gonna be strong for them back in the hotel, you know. I'm not doing this shit, you know. Yeah, so. But anyway, it's good to be here. Uh, I don't think there's no black people in this town, so. Uh, let's just see if there are any. You're gonna be black tonight, so. Uh, that's about all we got, uh, as far as black, uh, Tonight, uh, I thought I seen one Asian cat earlier. Uh, Looks like he uh, left us here to fend for ourselves. So, no, but it's good to be here. I just want to tell y'all right off the bat, I ain't got no hunting and fishing jokes, you know. I mean, I, I tried to 
right one, Rick and Bob, back in the city trying to get me go hunting. They're like, KJ, we got camouflage. I got a 12 gauge shotgun here. We're going to go out here and hunt some deer. You ready, son? You ready? You ready to shoot some buck and some deer? I'm like, hell no. I'm ready. I'm ready to keep the beer cold for y'all until y'all come back. I have a weed rolled up. I'm like, you not going to get me out there and have a Dick Cheney moment and blast me like I'm a 30-point deer. I'm like, oh, you the same color as a deer and shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Ricky Bob. You're not going to trick me like that. I'm not stupid. You know? Because I had to run it by my uh, off and on wife. She's off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship is fucked up, ladies, so if you're sexy, I'm pretty vulnerable right now. You could be, yeah, you could get some chocolate tonight. <laughs> but anyway, I had to run by her, because she was like, KJ, hey, uh, you don't need to go fishing. I got the catch of the day right here. Come on upstairs and get the catch of the day. I was saying, well, hold up. Let me check it and make sure it's fresh. <laughs> I don't want to get salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> These jokes only going to get worse. <laughs> I was just saying. I, I don't understand uh, uh, women sometimes because see my wife, I, she say shit that I don't really understand. That's why I'm separated and staying with Rick right now. <laughs> and Rick, don't think I didn't hear your ass talking about that house arrest shit back there in the bar either. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, she say shit like, don't make the bitch of me come out. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, man, I'm, you know, I'm wondering if she got some mental health issues, you know. Because, you know, you know, when she say it, don't make the bitch and me come out, uh, my first response is, I didn't even know she was in you. Who <laughs> <laughs> I've been dealing with all these years, what happened to the lady I married in Vegas and like chocolate and wine? and said she was going to give me head for life. Where that bitch at? Where that bitch at? And she used to have some good weed, too. I like the bitch with the good weed that didn't say shit. <laughs> that bitch was cool as hell. This bitch I got now is a fun hater. A fucking fun hater. That's what she is, women. Y'all don't hate on men because they have more fun than you. I mean, it's just, we just like that. We love to have fun, simplicity of life. And fun is one that is on the top of our list because we work. We work like a mind to, to satisfy y'all, you know. But like women, uh, yeah, you know, we, uh, I just don't understand y'all sometimes. And ladies, uh, don't have your man to be the traditional man all the time. Want him to initiate everything and be the the sole responsibility, the engine of a relationship, because that's a lot of responsibility for a man. It's like, you know, my, my lady tried to make me be the traditional guy, and I'm like, you know, I don't like that kind of shit, you know? You know, when it comes to sex, I gotta initiate sex. I don't like that kind of shit, you know? Sometimes I like my nipples lick first, you know? <laughs> you, know? you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I want you to go downtown and play with, with my, uh, my playground, you know? <laughs> I got a pole and a couple of balls for you to play with. Use your imagination and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, pretend you got some toys and shit. Without the toy, you know? I'm just saying. Hey, my name is KJ. Let me tell you something about me. I go by KJ because my name is actually an African name spelled K-E-L-E-C-H-I-J. A-A-V-A-I-D. Don't even try to pronounce this shit. Because when I'm drinking, I got problems pronouncing my own shit. <laughs> but I love my name when the bill collectors call to mispronounce it. They're like, Kaliki, Babiki, Kabi, Drabi, there. I'm like, hell no, you know what I'm here. You can't pronounce my name right, you can't get no damn money. <laughs> 
No, we got to put you on a payment plan. You ready? How would you like to pay it? I'd like to pay that shit like I played it last month with the check that bounced. <laughs> Run it back through. The recession ain't changed. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I love doing comedy. Comedy is, it takes me all over the world. I love it. I love it. I love people seeing you smiling, your energy, having a good time. And although I hate doing comedy with my family because they put a lot of pressure on me. They say stuff like, well, KJ, well, when you go on, go on like HBO and, and, and Comedy Central, and I'm like, hell, I'll ask you, when you gonna make it from the fries to the burger and burger king and shit? You know what I mean? I'll ask you about your career choice. Hey, cousin, when your ass gonna make parole? This dude called me collect from prison to inform me that he's in an art and craft program and making exotic oil and cologne. I said, dude, you need to get some protection and security in there. That is not the place to be smelling sweet in. I'm telling you, if I go to jail, I ain't gonna wash my ass for some weeks, y'all. I'm not playing. I'm going to slap some doo on my chest and talk to myself all day, every day. I ain't coming out the cell. I ain't changing no clothes, brushing no teeth or nothing. They get done with me, they going to send my ass to a mental health hospital so I can get my own TV and an oatmeal cookie. I'm not playing, y'all. I was just talking to Rick. I was on house arrest with Rick. Rick was like, Rick was like, uh, I think being on house arrest is worse than being in jail. I'm like, I fucking don't. <laughs> no, I said, in jail, you can't do shit. You can't watch no NBA. You can't watch no porn. You can't have no bitches over. I mean, women. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> You can't get a shot of ass. <laughs> shot of ass means sex. I'm not gonna be explaining these damn jokes either. <laughs> There's some amenities of being on house arrest until the fucking power go out. That's what happened. I was on house arrest and the power went out and I turned into a little bitch and called him up quick. Like, yo, I ain't went nowhere. <laughs> So that's the black experience I thought I'd share with y'all. When I first walked in here, I didn't know what this was going to be like. I thought I was going to get up here and call a bingo number or some shit. You know? like, this, this is like a town hall meeting with alcohol and shit. I don't know what the fuck it was going and I was scared all the way up here, too. I mean, y'all got horrendous roles for this. I was squeezing on, I was squeezing in my seat like a little bitch, you know? We get on, we get an ice patch, I'm, I'm pumping the brakes like I'm driving this shit. Like, I'm trying to stop the fucking car from the passenger seat, like, Rick, I got this, hold on. Okay, I ain't got no license and shit, but I'm still trying to stop the fucking car. Like, slow down and shit, man. We hit a curve, I grab my dick and shit. <laughs> First thing a black man want to make sure he got it, he about to die, he get dick, y'all. I'm just saying. The first thing he want to make sure that we got. Shit. Every, every other part can be fucked up, but if my dick work, I'm still alive. <laughs> Just saying, y'all. <laughs> oh man, I love it here. I'm having fun. Y'all having fun so far? Yeah. 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 Holiday season's over with. Y'all glad Christmas over with? I know. Y'all should wait till the day after to go shopping and then tell the kids, you know what? Santa Claus is in the hospital. <laughs> We're gonna do it the day after. <laughs> the sales is on. <laughs>
My daddy used to tell me, shit, don't worry about Santa Claus. I said, what happened? Santa Claus got robbed and shit. I said, you just ain't buying nothing to give. Look, motherfucker, if you want a holiday, get you some money. You can have a holiday any goddamn day. You know, I got kids and stuff, man. I got kids uh, 26 and, and 8. Eight, yeah. yeah. I'm fucked up, okay. Fucked up. I should have been one and done, you know. Nah, something about me, y'all. Uh, I'm six feet six. Pretty tall. It's hard being tall. Because women expect big things. I'm not lying. They do. I bet my girls are just like, ooh, KJ, uh, uh, you got big hands and you got big feet. We dancing and stuff. And, and what size shoes do you wear? I'm like, damn, lady, you, you size me up like I'm some type of piece of meat and shit. I'm like, shit, what if my meat come in three different sizes depending on what you do to it? <laughs> nah, nah. Mess around and make it mad and it turn into a a gummy worm or appetizer on your ass. <laughs> you don't see men come up to women talking about, hey baby, you dance with her. Hey baby, you got big hands and you got big feet. <laughs> baby, what size shoes do you wear? <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, I wonder how deep it is. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, I'm just breaking out the stereotypes that women have a man and you know. Just saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I go to family reunion just because I'm tall. I see people I've never seen. They, they ask me, they still ask me, KJ, why you didn't make it to the NBA? I'm like, really? Right now? I'm 20. Yeah, man, why you didn't make it, man? I'm like, okay, man, to tell you the truth, honestly, when I was in the trials with the Minnesota Timberwolves, yeah. I could not block Kevin Garnett's balls from swinging my face <laughs> after he dunked on me. Man, that man's seven feet tall. He's like a orangutan swinging on the rim. You got ball sweat and ball juice coming on your forehead. I'm like, KJ, KG, could you please get your balls out of my face? I'm trying to find my mama's house. You're killing my dream. <laughs> Would you please get your balls up? <laughs> I don't like the sweat either. This is nasty. I mean, I could dunk on KG on a fucking PlayStation Live. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. After I get high. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. What you say, baby? For real? For real? You for real need a man, don't you? <laughs> you for real need a man. Hey, somebody, she's a candidate, match.com. No. Farmersonly.com. You're right. Get her ass on that. Hey, baby, when you take your picture, make sure you smile and got all your teeth in. You know? <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, this is all funny so You can't take it, don't get the fuck out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I, I'll tell you, I'm happy to be here, like I said, you know. Uh, you know, because, you know, going through a little transition, I might be single soon, because, you know, like I said, I don't understand things ladies say, because, like, my life. My uh, wife said, you know, uh, I want a man to love me like I do. And I said, well, let me help you find that son of a bitch so he, <laughs> so he can pay the bills like I do. <laughs> and deal with your fucking crazy ass like I do. <laughs> I mean, she, I can't take her nowhere. She's so controversial. She don't like my family. She think her family better than my family. I don't do that to her. She tried to compare her family to my family. I said, look, baby, my family is good people. They like to drink, they like to party and talk shit. That's a good family, right, y'all? That's a good family, right? 
Oh, so she want to get all religious on me about her family. But my dad was a minister. Yeah. And he had 33 kids and five wives. I'm like, really? 33 kids and five wives and you bragging about that shit? I mean, yeah. And she goes on to say that. He never came on to any woman. He never pursued any woman. And he never came on to not one of them. I said, but he came in all one of them something <laughs> physical that came his way. Though. He came in all. He never turned down any pussy either, did he? <laughs> and which church did Joe has come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we got it. oh, I got a great. Hey, toast it up to comedy and New Year's coming up, prosperity. Nothing but love, nothing but love, y'all. Yeah, but what's that shot doing back there? That's for when I get to it. <laughs> but you will. AA counselor, my drink fucking hot. Fuck you, me, what that shot back there for? That's my motherfucking heat for later on tonight. Yeah, she bragged about her damn family and shit. And then her brother, she bragging about her family. She got a, a, a brother. She got two brothers, right? This is a true story. She got two brothers. I kid you not. Two brothers that dated the same woman. Yeah, dated the same woman. And then they had babies by the same woman. I know, that's fucked up, ain't it? Let me tell you how even more fucked up it is. They had babies by the same woman. Check this out. One came out blind and the other one came out deaf. I said, baby, that's fucked up because they, they can't even get to know each other. <laughs> they can't. I mean, one, one, one came side like, you know, your daddy. My mom won. And the other one can't see the sign language. <laughs> and I'm saying, why didn't the first brother tell the other brother, I hit that first. You might want to go somewhere else. But he invited the motherfucker, like, come on, man. We can make a family and shit together, you know? <laughs> That's called trailer hood, y'all. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I'm just having fun, y'all. Yeah, so I got a little kid. Yeah, like I said, I got a little kid that's he's a eight year old. He's he's what you call a cop blocker, you know. He's an eight year old cop blocker that every time I'm trying to get some, he got like sex sensors or sex detector. He come knocking on the door. Oh, uh, daddy, I, I just want some water. Daddy, I just want some milk, milk and cookies. <laughs> Son, I, I just want your mama. <laughs> I just want some titties and ass. <laughs> but you say you was gonna read me a story. I did, go get your book, man. You know, so he runs to get his book and I gotta read him a story so he can go to sleep. When he go get this, this unusual book, it, it, it said, rub it up, no three men in the tub. <laughs> and I'm like, where you get this damn book from? <laughs> and my mama bought it from the thrift store, Goodwill. I'm like, you ain't got no Harry Potter or no Diary of the Whippy Kid and no shit like that? <laughs> no, nah, go ahead and read it, daddy. So I'm reading the story, rub it up, no three men in the tub. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. And in my mind, y'all, I start wondering how these three guys met anyway. You know what I'm saying? And the butcher ran out of bread, so he called the baker because he was trying to make a sandwich. But then they didn't have no light, so they called the candlestick maker. And they decided to come over to this house and go upstairs and run some water in the tub. But, but before they decided to get in the tub, they decided to take off all their clothes and get butt ass naked and jump in there with some fucking scrub brushes and shit. Boo, 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 and make bubbles. Boo, 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 with some punk ass soap. Boo, 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 boo. And said, hey, this is 
going to be a good children book story. That is a gay ass story. It's a gay ass story. Now I just said, rub enough dog to be women in the tub. Something like the hook of the stripper, the greedy gold digger. Explaining to do, you know? Like, hey, son, this ain't Winnie the Pooh now. You know? They don't want your honey, they want your money. You watch out for them kind of women. That's how I met your mama. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I got another son. He to, you know, my kids talk to me about anything, but some things I just want them to take to the grave with them, you know what I mean? <laughs> For real. Some things you don't, you just don't talk about with your parents. I got a 26-year-old son that got married in Virginia, and he, you know, before he got married, we threw him a party, but we had a conversation. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you now. <laughs> I got maple whiskey behind me, and it's strong than a motherfucker right now. <laughs> so anyway, my 26-year-old son say, uh, Dad, I want to talk to you about something. I'm about to get married. My fiance wants me to have this sexual experience. And I was like, oh, yeah. He said, yeah, uh, she wants to lick my butt for a sexual experience. <laughs> And I'm like, son, that ain't no shit you tell your pops, man. <laughs> That's some shit you tell your best friend and you fucking go to your grave with, you know? <laughs> you don't tell your pops no shit like that. I mean, I don't even know how to answer the question, y'all. I mean, you trying to discourage her from licking your ass or something, man? I mean, you know, go to one of them, like, Taco Bells or one of them White Castle restaurants. You know, wait four hours and she lick your ass then. That bitch is just nasty. That bitch is just nasty. As a matter of fact, now that you told me, I'm going to be looking at you and her differently from now on. Like, which one of y'all is talking shit? It's <laughs> nasty, man. Hey, he goes on to say they have sex 21 times a week. I said, no wonder she's trying to get to the back of your ass. You ain't using the front right. <laughs> 21 times a week? If I had sex 21 times a week right now, I wouldn't even have no balls, y'all. My balls would just be my scrotum and shit, you know? I'd be just squirt it out and shit, you know? I'm saying, I wouldn't have nothing to work with. You gotta have, man, 20s, I guess you could do that, but... 21 times a week? Shit, I'm still working on the front of your mama. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, because relationships is hard, you gotta have fun time. Now, the, the times that I did have fun when I was married, well, when I'm still married, I'm separated, but I'm very vulnerable right now, ladies. <laughs> I like the role play night, you know, like you gotta have fun. Like she said, oh, KJ, tonight we're gonna role play. Uh, uh, you get to be the pimp and I get to be a prostitute. I, you know, I'm like, what? Really? Yeah, be a pimp, talk like a pimp. I was like, suck my dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, you, you said that like, uh, you said role play. Why is you taking it personal? I, <laughs> Why are you taking it first? So you said role play. So I was talking dirty to her, you know. And then she's like, okay, let's be like dogs and animals. KJ, I want you to get down on all four, and I want you to bark and spank my ass at the same time. I'm like, hold up, baby. I don't know if my motor skills will keep up with all that kind of shit, man. I just smoked some good weed, too, and you want me to... If you want some of this, so I had to get down there and I wanted some, but uh, goddamn, it was, I was trying to get this shit right. I roo! Pat! Roo! Pat! You ain't doing it right, son. I, I reached back and punched that bitch in the head. Boom! <laughs> she was like, oh, you punched 
punch me in my ass. I was like, you said be a dog. You lucky I ain't bite you in your ass, bitch. I was like, I don't even like doing it like this. This robe, I don't even like it. I got carpet burn and shit. My knees hurt, you know? I'm like, why we can't do it in the bed like normal people? Why we can't try kitty cat style? Let me lay on my back and be a cat and go, Rawr! Stroke it, girl. Rawr! Lick these balls, girl. <laughs> I was just saying, it's so fucking complicated, y'all. Fucking complicated, you know? I mean, you know, I'm just saying, I love sex, but with her, it's like, I love sex. Lady, let me tell you something. Honestly, men love sex, but if you know you're not going to have an orgasm, you should just throw up the white flag. Give us a clue so we don't waste good dick on you, you know what I mean? Give us a clue. We don't want to waste a good dick on you, let us know. It's not going to happen. Or put a GPS down on that damn thing. Put a GPS on the coochie, you know. Give us some direction. Like, 20 hard pumps down the middle. Boom, 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 boom. Hard left. Boom, hard right. Boom, make a U-turn, baby. Woo, come up down, baby. Boom. Be here some shit say, recap, the lady. Recap, the lady. Recap, the lady. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with that GPS? What the fuck? I'm lost in this motherfucker. I need a, a life jacket and shit. What the fuck? <laughs> I need a life jacket and shit. When you get the destination, it's like, oh God, you're like, God, we're waiting on your ass for 20 minutes now. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It's hard. It's hard, man. Yes. And then, and then ladies, do not interrupt the man if he wants a private moment. It does not include you. <laughs> Yes, we do other things to get excited for you. I like to watch tennis sometimes. Yes, I do. I might not watch the, you know, the ball and shit, but I do watch Serena Williams' ass. <laughs> Fuck the ball, that bitch ass is huge. <laughs> that gets me excited. Just saying. Oh man. Huh? Y'all take breaks on y'all job too. Stop looking at me. Like that. Oh man. How we doing so far? Are we doing good. Man, my watch is off. Rick, what time you got, man? Oh fuck, I don't know. I don't know either. Oh fuck. People, any single people here tonight? Hey! It's all guys and shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's singing? Y'all raising her hand? You need a little sunshine in your life? <laughs> you put some sunshine in your life, you know? You've been living on a lot of snow lately, huh? Chocolate covered strawberry up here. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't say I was happy, man. <laughs> nah, I'm just talking shit. Uh, nah. <laughs> nah, but uh, the thing about kids, yeah, it, it, uh, you know, I don't know if y'all know, but kids are very interesting. Like, they ask you some interesting questions. Like, my son said, uh, we was watching a game and they had the Libertor drug commercial. And he's like, Daddy, Daddy. The man said, what, what do drugs feel like? And you know, I really don't want to talk about drugs because I just came out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so it was an inopportune time. He's like, Daddy, Daddy, what do drugs feel like? So my best illustration for my son was like, I was like, son, Run around a circle real, real fast. Real, real fast. 
And he got dizzy and fell down. He got up. And I said, see, son, uh, that's how drugs feel. He said, Daddy, I want to do it again. I don't know, man. That ain't what. Yeah, Daddy, this fun and shit. This fun. And my, my girl was like, hey, what's wrong with that boy? That boy, he, you know, Daddy gave me some drugs. Daddy gave me some drugs. The door did, boy, gave you an illustration of what not. He said, no, Daddy, you got me high. <laughs> And so I'm gonna give your ass something else, you don't sit down and stop lying on me. <laughs> so uh yeah, that joke didn't have a lot of momentum because <laughs> I see some people are so sensitive about drugs, but <laughs> fuck you guys. You go to Walgreens and get your fucking shit when you get it, you know. <laughs> just cause you know what, Lee, weed is about to be legalized all over America. I'm just I want to, I want Obama to legalize it in this state here, so I can get me a home business. <laughs> I even wrote my business slogan out. You want to hear it? If you got stress, I got herbal essence relief fresh off your chest. If you want to feel stimulated, <laughs> I got the stimulus package. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my uh that's my slogan. <laughs> Other thing that's going on, I live in the city, y'all. You know, right now uh, when I am on the road, I gotta look for a part-time job. It's a hard recession. I don't do political jokes because uh, you know I don't do jokes about Obama because he got his hands full. He got a lot of pressure. He got his hands full. Uh, Y'all see how big Michelle ass is? <laughs> uh, I'm that catch up to you. <laughs> he got his hands full. He do his best work in the Oval Office just like Bill Clinton did. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but no, it's a rough economy, so I've been... Check this out. I don't know if y'all have to go on job interviews up here, but I went on a job interview. I've been on job interviews lately. And man, I mean, what is it? Why do you go on a job yeah, interview so and they ask you some stupid questions? Stupid questions, stupid questions. Like, excuse me, why do you want the job? What kind of damn question is that? Why do I want the job? It's clear I filled out the fucking application. <laughs> what the fuck you mean, why do I want the job? I almost want to ask them why you want your damn job. Because I really don't want the job. I want the money and the benefits. You can keep the fucking job. <laughs> All these stupid ass questions talking about what can you bring to the table? Really? I like to bring a six pack of Budweiser and, and some weed <laughs> on my brain. <laughs> and I'm in for your hot ass breath that's got me nervous in this interview. <laughs> All these stupid ass questions. What happened to you in your last job? Like, you want me to explain how I went on a four hour lunch break, went to the bar, got drunk, went home and rolled me up a joint and watched The Simpsons and said, fuck that job. It's on the application, bitch. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah. Are there any questions about the black experience before I go? <laughs> hey, have you about, ever been to Detroit? I've been to Detroit and uh Don't count. Yeah, I just don't drive there, you know. Because you will not leave that motherfucker with a car. <laughs> About a few years ago, the, uh, there was a commercial called The Whopper Freakout, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was called Burger King. Hey, baby, if you want to talk, I need you to put some vowels and consonants in your words so I can understand what the fuck you were saying. All that, uh, 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 uh. You sound like a zombie or a fucking monster. I don't know what the fuck you were saying, y'all. Give it up for her. What's your name? Val. Val, give it up for Val. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Val. Hi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
I enjoyed your. I enjoyed you. Did you hear it or understand? <laughs> if you did, that's good. Now go sit the fuck down. <laughs> I love you, baby. But go sit your ass down right now. <laughs> Come on, go up there and do it. <laughs> Oh, y'all. So I just want to say, uh, before I go, I'd like to do this last joke just to say, uh, ladies, a lot of my routine, I hope if I say anything of thing that you didn't care, you didn't understand, or you didn't care for, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, but I really don't give a shit. <laughs> I've been enjoying myself. But I like to say this last little joke because I always advocate for men. Us men have to keep stick together because... We gotta, we gotta work hard to please a woman. And ladies, just, just to let you know how hard a man please you, I read this book in, in the Dial of Sexuality. I read this paragraph in the Dial of Sexuality. This is how hard a man to please you. Did you know when the average man ejaculates, according to the scientific research, loses about two tablespoons of semen? That two tablespoons of semen is equivalent to Two New York states, I don't know where the fuck they got that part from. Two New York states, ten oranges, six eggs, lemons, and minerals, amino acids, and every damn thing else that goes out of a man. And ladies, that's for the record. It is not called coming, it is called going. So you should get your vitamins and shake the fuck up. Let's take it to me and God bless you.